What's up everyone? This is the heavy cruiser that I made, fully custom. I really didn't take anyone's designs or anything like that. I mean, I might have used parts. It might have just kind of worked out in my head that I thought this looked the best, so I used it. But this ship is fully furnished. Um, well, for the it is almost fully furnished. There's some parts I guess I didn't I swear I finished it all, but you know, shit happens. But um, for the majority it is. Like this part, it's, it's all furnished, and we'll see from the bottom up how it is uh, furnished. Sorry for the quality. Bad frame rate. My computer is old. But this is the very bottom of the boat. This is like, I made this kind of like a, a maintenance area, area. I think this is where they'd be. I'm not sure. I figured kind of like that. These are the engines. They're quite small for it, but you have, as you can see, you have very limited space down here. And how I designed it uh, was there's like a modular design. So that means each one of these things I'm pointing out right now is like a bulkhead, I suppose it could be called. And I think they're 15 long, except for when you start getting the front of the end, it kind of is uh, eh. But every 15 blocks, there's a stair, like a doorway that goes up. And then there's like a middle part and then another stair. So like walked right through this one. All right. But uh, yeah, this is the second level. This has all of the sleeping compartments. This is a damage control like unit, I guess, or storage or whatever. I kind of like to think it's damage control. That mirror is supposed to, I mean, that water there is supposed to be like fuel, but it's water, so there's that. If you could, I don't know. But yeah, there's plenty of, oh, I just got caught there. Plenty of spots for sleeping. Like I said, modular design or bulkhead design. Uh, module sounds good. I think we'll go with module design. And then, like, each level has a, a trap door for, like, a bulkhead or whatever. So, in case this flooded, the other one doesn't. But this is right about water level. So, this is where there's, I don't know why there's bats. Don't mind those. But, um, yeah, this is be, this is the bathroom area. These are the shitters. You know, yeah, take a shit like this. Um, but, uh, yeah, then you can wash your hands here if you choose. Some people aren't into that, but... And here's the showers. I'm not sure why there's so many baths, but here's the showers. Not really tall enough, but when I designed it, most of the levels were too long, so or too high. This could be. This is like the briefing room slash community movie room. You know, like if they got a mission coming up or details or you know just like a weekly movie night. You know, you got to keep the sailors somewhat entertained. Oh, oh God, just lost. If you guys get this boat, you'll really see. It's easy to get lost in. I should put signs, but I don't give a damn. This is the kitchen, like, where they cook all the food. You guys know the fucking kitchen, I don't know what I'm saying. There's a lot of storage in here, too. This is, like, the lunch line, I guess? I don't know, kind of. that kind of sounds like we're 12, but it's the lunch line, because it's what it is. They, like, would walk through here. They come in from over there, obviously. But uh, they get their food, a little some desserts or something. I don't fucking know. And they come through here. And you can eat any of these. It has two door bulkhead to go through here. You can hear because I'm assuming there's a lot of people. Everyone wants fucking food. Oh fuck, that's not supposed to happen. I just broke that block, but whatever. This is like a studying area or maybe like a relaxation. There's a TV here. You know, there's a library, it's a place to sit and read. You know, some creature comforts. This is another damage control slash storage, whatever you want. And this is, I believe, the back of the boat, and this is an extra, um, like, shells and things. These are, like, powder bags for, like, the main cannons. And then these, yeah, these are, like, the main ca like the main cannon shells. Yeah? Okay. If I could talk, that'd be sweet. We go up to the next level. Yeah, sometimes it gets glitchy. Just ignore that. I don't give a damn. There's another damage control unit. Each level pretty much has damage control, because there you know, could always be damage, honestly. But this is pretty uh, really armored at this point. I mean, even if someone TNT blasts you, unless it comes through the deck, they're not getting it through, because it's iron blocks. But, but um, yeah, this is, like, there's, like, a rail system, and these are this is the turret that goes to the main cannon. This is the very back cannon, and you can see these have got rails, you got the shells, and then the white wool blocks are, like, the powder bags. And it goes through. I'll show on a different one how exactly this works because I had like simulating a shell going up the sh up the chute, so you can't really see. But those go all the way up to the main cannons. 
this is like uh what this is the fire controls no this is radio com communication and stuff i don't know i i put random stuff in there's not really i don't know this texture pack doesn't have like cool looking shit but it, it looks beautiful this is fire control like there's one turret here one turret here aa guns here etc but uh yeah there's this again yeah yeah this is the this is the one on the front, not the very front, but the second front. Um, as I'll show you, this goes all the way up, like you're to load your shell, and it goes all the way up. And this is what the inside of the gun looks like. Here's the ramming rods. This is supposed to, yes, yeah, so you can bring it in. You put your shell in and ram it home. Put your powder in, ram it home. Like if that's for an example, like that's the bot. The yellow's the bottom of the shell. The black's the top. That's the powder bag. So like imagine in front of this is that stuff I guess but yeah and then ram it home fire cannon bad design uh, you can't get out once you're in here but you can get in there's someone else close the door behind you unless you go down to the boat and around you're kinda fucked but and I don't really give a damn keep going forward this is the is the very front cannon same design really you know send them home also can't get out that door unless you you can get in like you can come in from the outside but when someone closes it behind you you're done so yeah and that's the you go all the way to the front of the boat this is the captain's quarter this is also this part right here this, that's supposed to be like a reading area like a captain's mess or whatever but actually this is officers not I meant I meant to say officers not can't like captain but there's two officer rooms and then the captain's quarters you know he's got some books he's got his old style TV his master bedroom, some flowers, some chests, you know, stuff like that. So we're gonna keep going here. If I can find a fucking doorway to get up. But this is how I always get lost, cause like this, the middle of the boat is the middle of the boat, so it goes right up that thing. So I always, I always end up walking into a turret because I think it's gonna lead to another bulk, bulk way or bulkhead or whatever. That's the turret. That's the second most front old gun that goes up this is like communications I, d I don't really know all the parts of a boat I don't ever built a boat so that's just kind of all that shit you know there's lighting in here there's some switches and stuff and then you go on to deck this is the main deck the main level um yeah and then yeah, there's like random controls they just have levers and shit they kind of play with levers all day I guess boat stuff but yeah back on the deck I saw a good time to show you the deck there's multiple AA guns here we'll start off with this is the most frontal AA gun there's the anchor things there's two A's there main turret main turret triple AA these are like single cannon AA's single cannon quad cannon AA dual single triple quad you get it there's a lot of AA guns and two singles in the rear it's supposed to be American flag there but you know you can always do that so well. This is what I was talking about how you can get in, but you can't get out because the lovers on the outside. So once you get in here, someone closes behind you, you can't get out through there. But yeah, here's some more A cannons here. Goes through that. There's more there, here, more here. Same thing on the other side. It's pretty universal. Um, yeah. Yeah, like this right here is supposed to have a ladder that goes all the way up. It it doesn't because I forgot to put it in so yeah but this this would be more of more fire control I guess or scouting or spotting what have you this comes out onto this AA deck um, you can't get through that little hole even though it looks like you can this is also not furnished I swear I did oh fucking mic I swore I did it but I didn't so sorry about that and that goes down so there's the comms and then I fucking I'm um, lost. Shit, how do I get up? I go through. Oh, this is to the the f upper front cannon. Yes, upper front cannon. <laughs> and this will go up. This is where this leads to the bridge. Some communication things here, and then this is the bridge of the ship. Captain sits here. Obviously, he's got his fancy seat. Watch what's going on. People are steering and shit. We got like wheels and switches. And all the stuff you need to steer a damn boat. So there's that. Kind of look. It's kind of weird in here looking, but it's weird out there too. 
this is where space really starts getting limited. <laughs> so you kind of just have to jump over there and, you know, look at the stuff. But you can go all the way up through here and get to a front-facing Oak God Tower. It has a pretty good view of the ocean. I have a good view of the boat, though. So boat, boat, though. And this is the rear-facing. You can go up through there, that back of the boat, that part that wasn't finished. Smokestack. And then the... Thing, what's that called? Is that a conning tower? This this thing? This thing that comes up? I don't know. It's got, like, radar or whatever shit you need. Bay A platforms here. Sun's coming up. And there's beacons on the top as well. And there's, like, markers. And that's about it. There's a, Oh, yeah, there's a plane launch and a crane right there. But, you know, there's that. And that's it from the top. And that's pretty much all it is, guys. I don't know exactly how big it is, because I I estimate I kind of like I said I kind of went as I went. I didn't take any measurements, but uh, from like that line to mm, this line is when I initially made that first initial red like line, like of wool, like okay, so how long it's gonna be? But the in in intricacy is of the front end really always got to me. I don't know how the fuck I made this happen, but I do actually. It's pretty straightforward once you get to it. Like now I have it down packed and all the other boats I'm making have it the exact same thing. But I've never seen really other designs that start with the one and then they go up and out at the same time. Like they grow properly. A lot of them have like a just a big bottom and then they'll do the cool designs. But I think that person looks better. I've, if I was going to do it again, I'd probably make the size more rounder. But that's why this is a cruiser. I've seen cruisers are like they'll have the straight sides and shit. But, um, yeah. They'll have like the straight sides and stuff like that. So, that's it, everyone. Alright, thanks for watching. Bye.